making them watch them on. They won't go and watch them on the VLE. We're filming now. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so introduce yourselves, obviously. Hi, I'm Grace. Yeah, I'm, I'm Kay there. <laughs> and uh, how did you do at AS? Um, for my AS grade, I got an A. Me also. Also me. And uh, you happy with that? Very happy. Yeah, very, very happy. At, like, the, like, you feel like you're not going to get it. Because no, you, you feel like... You use so much work for them, it paid off. Right, so when you say so much work, if you were to kind of sum up the workload in year 12, in comparison to say, let's say GCSE, how would it differ? It's, well, you didn't do GCSE. I didn't do GCSE, so. It's a lot, a lot more work, a lot more time consuming, and you have to be able to have like different ideas and not just stick with one thing, because that won't get you anywhere. But what you've got to do, you've got to like manage your time, you've got a plan. You can't just say, oh yeah, okay, like next week I might take this photo. You've got to be like, right, next week on Wednesday after school. Especially I will if you're do. doing it with like models or using other people or like, yeah. Yeah, because but still, if you don't like anything, it. like, oh, I'm going to go get my props today. Yeah, even when I was going out just taking photos on the street, I had to think about it beforehand and know what I wanted to go and do and it makes it so much quicker. So, so how, how, what kind of methods and techniques did you do to plan? Did you use your iPads? Was it written down? Did you just write in your phone? What kind of things, how did you go about doing this? So I used Pinterest and I got like a photo that I wanted to achieve and then picked something that I could then use as like an A01 to like placing something in an environment or something that would link to it and then I'd get photos that would... Yeah, but how would you schedule when you were going to do it? Like, where would you record that? Well, I'd write it down in a book and then put it onto my PowerPoint afterwards. Mm. Or even, like, on your iPad or even, like, on your phone because you've always got your phone with you. So as soon as you think, all oh, right, yeah, I'm going to do it, just write it down in the notes. Mm -hmm. It's anywhere. Mm -hmm. What do you feel was the biggest challenge then in Year 12? What did you find hard? Obviously at the beginning of the year, towards the end of the year, like now you're in year 13, and towards the end of the year, you're very different students to when you came in at the beginning of the year 12. What do you think is the biggest challenge or the biggest thing you have to learn? I think it's just getting the idea, like, you've got so much, and when you start off, you've got all these photos, and you're like, realistically, I can't do that. Or yeah. like it's actually getting your idea and like making it different, not just copying a photo. Just yeah, developing on your own work and making it something that's yours rather than someone else's. So you're referring to when you were doing your personal projects. Yeah. yeah. Prior to that, you were doing more focused, directed, class-based oh, tasks. Like line and shadows. Yeah. yeah. And how did you feel doing those supported your work later on? Doing those really helped, I thought, like, it gave you kind of like what you're expecting, like what you want your layout to be like and getting used to like And it helped layout, you with, because like, we were told to focus on something, it helped you when you were doing your own work, you knew to, what to look for and how to find those different things. Like when we did line and shadow, you had to really look out for it. So when we were doing our own work, we knew more about it. How much, how much time would you spend outside of school, outside of lesson time, doing your coursework? I think... If you said in a week... Yeah, for like, most, yeah, most time doing most work nights, out, like, Even do if anything. it's just like you write a paragraph while you've got like your notes written down, like quick like keywords or anything, just write like a paragraph because you don't want to... Some people just like take the photos, lay them out and then do all the writing at the end. Like, I don't like doing it that way, do it as you go along, because then you don't forget how you did it, what and you if, thought about it. Even if you do like, at the time you do note taking, and then you can develop on it afterwards, mm. you still, at least you still got that yeah. basis to carry on. Did you find though, like every, every day, school day, say Sunday to Thursday, you had work to do at home, across all your subjects in total? Yeah. There was always something to yeah. do. There's always. I did, yeah, most of my work was on weekends for like photography because I barely, none of my stuff I could do in school. Yeah. So in school it was just bringing in editing it, proofreading and 
finishing off my design of the page, but all of my work had to be planned during the week. Okay, so basically so the I nature of what you time. were doing, Kerry Beth, was you were working with, with doing self-portraiture models, but it all meant they were all environments outside of the classroom. Yeah. And you don't have the time to set up and do it. Even if you were doing it in the classroom, you have no time. So everything, you have to be able to commit after school and know that you've got to balance your time with it. Okay. If you were to give any, uh, just some very quick tips for success in year 12 for the new students that are coming in, what would they be? Plan. Plan and actually stick to your plan. Don't be like... Oh yeah, actually yeah, I forgot to do that last week. Oh, I just add it on to next week. No, do it. And Stick make sure you have research and photographers. Like you know that you can always develop because you have a big load of photographers. Because if you don't, then you've got to go back to it at the end. It's way more stressful because you can never find things that link to your work after you've already done it. It's so much more complicated. All right. Thank you.